What's up YouTube, Tanner Chester here teaching you how to build a profitable online business. So what I wanna do is take you through how to set up a perfect mini chat ad. Now you guys already know that we have some things coming uh, in January, so that'll be something we'll have to keep an eye on. They're making a bunch of changes. I've made a video on that in some of my courses, but for this video, I just wanna focus on the actual ad. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Grow Tools, and you're gonna have a bunch of options, okay? So you'll have you know, JSON, you know, modal, bar, slide in, whatever. The, at the end of the day, just to keep it simple, the one you want is this. Okay, so you'll pick this. You'll add this to a sequence if you have one. For those who don't know what those are, it's just automated messages that come after. So here's a bunch of sequences I have. So you can go make that and attach it. So think of a sequence as automated emails. They're gonna send after the message. Now with the new changes, uh, Facebook has made, they're not gonna allow messages after 24 hours, but honestly with what I do in my business, it's not a big deal. It might be a bigger deal for your business, but for mine, it's not gonna matter that much. Um, but what you'll do is you'll come in here, you'll say whatever you want. So, so I want to create this ad for you, okay? You can add images, cards, um, voice messages. The ones I use the most will be images, audio, video, and user input. User input is how you can actually grab an email. So you could come in here and actually ask for an email. And if you hook this up with Zapier when they grab it, you can actually scrape their email th through Zapier to your email list. Just super effective because if they're already here and you ask for their email and they give it to you, you now have their email and you don't have to do anything further. So pretty cool um, if you ask me. So that's how that works, but essentially what you'll do is you'll just set your ad up, okay? And then you will click publish, okay? So click publish, you're good to go. And then just delete that, publish, you're all set. Now, in terms of setting up your ad, <clears throat> here's what I typically do. So Facebook typically doesn't like you to use weird links. So what you'll first wanna do is either grab this and paste it into your URL in Facebook, Okay, so like let me do like a practice campaign for you guys. So you click conversion, practice, practice MC, okay, continue. You'll go through and do all your budgeting and stuff like that. If you wanna watch um, one of my most popular videos, it's on Facebook ads, it's an hour long training. You can go watch that. But then you'll just come here to continue. And then when you get down to the actual ad, you're gonna grab that URL and put it right here. Okay, so coming back here, you'll grab this one. Now, if it doesn't work, most of the times it won't launch. So you'll grab this and you'll put it in your URL. Now, if it doesn't work, watch. It may or may not work. So like Facebook, if they let it go, cool. If they don't and you want it to look prettier, you can go to Bitly or any other type of URL shortener and you can post it in there. Now, Facebook sometimes will disapprove it, but what I found is that as long as you have a compliant landing page, and then you make sure that um, you just appeal it, it should be fine. So then the other option is you can come here, you can disguise that with the Bitly link, and the reason that'll work is like if Facebook doesn't like that link, it'll usually run Bitly, okay? I've had instances or occasions where Facebook will start shutting it down or say like, you can't run a Bitly link, but guys, usually if you just relaunch an ad, or you appeal it, it almost always goes through. How do I know this? Because I run about 150 grand a month um, this way. So that's how you would do it. That's the best way. If you do it any other way, you're gonna have more problems. Like JSON really sucks. I don't uh, like it very much. And the other way is to run it straight through Facebook's Messenger, but it's just not as good as ManyChat. ManyChat's a lot bigger. You guys can see I've had you know over 20,000 people here, 12,000 people here. I use it quite a bit, 1,800 here. And that's a lot of traffic. Um, so anyways, hope that makes sense guys. Hope this video was informative. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.